carburetor time in the freezing cold. Fabulous. <laughs> Well, it is a balmy 12 in here, which is, that's pretty good. Just my residual body heat, though, will probably warm this place up. Well, you know, never mind. It's, it's way too big for that. Uh, Any hoozle, carburetor. We, we got to continue work on this thing. I have been avoiding doing the base plate on this carburetor. This is the one that we're having flow tested with the other channel, uh, the collaboration, Joseph Nowak. Uh, but I just gotta get it done. And it's, well, and what I'm doing is this, all right? So I'm taking these butterflies, right? I took them all out and I am refining that blunt edge right just that square you know into that right now it's not a knife edge it's it's convex it's it's rolled right like an airplane wing okay it, it's not it doesn't come to an absolute you know sharpened edge it it's rolled okay now, I did it on that side, so now I'm going to do it on this side here. So, yeah, I, I have four of them to do. I have two sides each, so that means I have eight things I have to file down, and it's going to take some time. So let me do that, okay, and then we will continue on. God, it's so cold in here. Uh, I don't like winter. <laughs> All right. Going really quick and dirty with these because. Frankly, I'm cold. I don't want to spend that much time out here. So, not going to be exactly polished and pristine, but this is just a 600 base plate. I mean, I, I want to, I'm more curious on what changing to the other base plates, the 750 and then the 850 will do. But we still need to test this as well, so. Here goes another one. This is number three now. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we got them all tapered down. You're going to be able to see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There we go. All four. Now, we got to work on these things. Because, just like we did there, we are going to have to reduce, I mean, look at how much is sticking out there. We're going to have to reduce and streamline this as much as possible. So, let me work on that. Alrighty, that's what we got so far. That's what we started with. And that's what we got now. Uh... I mean, I, I could go even further with that, but I think I'm going to call it good. Start on that one, and I just really want to get this base plate done. So, yeah. Okay. All right. One second. Let me finish this up. Well, and then I still got the whole other, you know, bottom side to do, too. <sighs> All right, so the before and after. That's the finished product there, and that I haven't started on yet. Uh, I figured I wanted a before and after shot, so yeah, there you go. Obviously, you could go a lot further than I did. Uh, this is just as far as we're going for this test here. Uh, one other thing that I want to do, uh, I want to... 
what's the word for it? Oh, now let me show you what I'm thinking here. All right, let's get you right in the center there. We can right there. A little more. Okay. I like to peen. Well, peen is not the correct term, but you make a divot, right? And that expands the end of the uh, screw metal out, the brass. It expands it out and it locks that in there so it won't back out. Okay. Well, now that that's all done, let me do the other side all right there we go there she is um <laughs> that's the first one i did and uh well they they just get thicker and thicker after the first one you see that uh losing steam on her but there it is that is the completed base plate uh, I'm not adding any of this stuff because it's just going on the flow bench. He can just set that to where it needs to be. It's vacuum sight. This doesn't move with the throttle anyway, so he'd have to do this anyway. Uh, and yeah, perfect. Not too shabby. Now, again, this is not... We, we won't call we won't call this quality work uh, but you, you gotta figure though if this makes a difference actually going in there and doing it nicely can only make a bigger difference see what I'm saying we got the 90% of it right and that's what we need to test for this one anyway uh, I mean really this this base plates pretty pretty junky uh but it, it's just it's a test mule that's all it that's the only thing you will ever be it's just for testing but i suppose now why don't we go and put it all together see what it looks like <laughs> warm <laughs> so good to be back in the warmth all right so we got it got it all here uh, almost ready to assemble but before we assemble it all I want to go through and I want to get rid of all these ridges in here now, I don't know if you can even see you probably can't see them but there are massive like ridges right on these venturis and on the bottom of these bores so I'm gonna clean those up and then we'll assemble the whole thing and see what it looks like all right so I've dressed all of these edges down here uh, but while I'm at it, I might as well go in there and can you see that ridge up there? Yeah, pretty much. So I've been filing away at it. See, look at that. That's what it was. That, that right there is a ridge. And that's what she is now. I've been filing down on it. <sighs> okay, two more. These two are done. Two more. Yep. That's a lot further than I thought I was going to go with this thing for stage one, but might as well do the full thing, huh, while we're here. And there it is, the final product. A little bit better than uh, where we started from, huh? Well, you know, supposedly, anyway. We're about to find out. Uh, but yeah that there it is open this up open that up what do you think how much more cfm do you think we're going to gain through this carburetor with the mods we've done now keep in mind all this stuff we did this is stage one this is like the typical things people are going to do like the very first steps to modifying your carburetor like the this is it this is what the typical car guy is going to do 
So that's why we're going to leave it here and we're going to have it tested because I want to see exactly what, you know, the, 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 the typical modifications do. How much more CFM is this going to make, you know, versus what it was? I mean, you can actually see down in there, right? I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Because, uh, she's ready. Now, uh, now we just gotta find time to actually ship it. Nice. Alright. But, that's it for now. And I'll catch you next time. God, I am very curious to see what this is gonna do. Neat.